The majority of high temp fan failures first occur at the inboard bearing. The inboard bearing is the bearing that is closest to the fan housing. The specific fan behind me will be moving up to 700 degree Fahrenheit air. There's no bearing that should have 700 degrees when you record the bearing temperature. So how do we keep that bearing below the threshold that's required for it to run successfully? This fan has been designed with two things to help with that. The first is the slots that are in this guard. There's a lot of air slots that allow a lot of the outside air to come in through this guard. There's a cooling wheel between the housing and that inboard bearing, and that cooling wheel is designed with fins that should be drawing that cool air across the bearing and then blowing out that air out these slots in the guard. When you install this fan, you're likely to install it in an area where there's traffic. If so, you're probably going to put insulation around it. When you put the insulation around it, consider this. There are slots in these guards for a reason. This fan has been engineered this way for a reason. And if you put the insulation on in a way where it's going to cover up a considerable amount of this guard, you may be blocking the path for that air to come off of the cooling wheel. If you don't get air successfully across that inboard bearing, it's likely that that bearing is going to heat up pretty quickly. So make sure you address that when you install the fan. If you do install insulation, think about your inboard bearing. It could save you from a lot of heartache.